very bad disposition. And that's what we have to do. That's the way we have to play. With the, with the size we have on this team, the big boys, we need them to play big and we need them to dominate in front of the net. We had too many chances, too many opportunities that we now have to start finding the net result. And the net result is mean we have to find ways now to push more pucks over the goal line. Even if we have to push them with our nose, we have to push pucks over goal lines. So we can sit I can sit here and be nice, but I wasn't hired I was not hired to be nice. I was hired to be effective and to install and to install a, a motivation for this team to play very difficult in front of the net. So this is the moment now where coaches start to coach. And we had a team meeting after the game, and we certainly, we, uh, we informed them that if we're gonna be a top, a top team, we need to stop the blah blah, and now we gotta walk or talk. So tomorrow night couldn't happen in a better place for us to show up and walk our talk. So it's gonna be a tough game. There'll be two very desperate teams on the ice, and for us it'll be a good challenge, a good challenge to step up and start start now with, uh, with the way we have to play. You consider the first two goals for special photocopies because it's, it's every time a break, maybe a little bit lucky for them, but it can happen maybe one, one time in the game, not twice. Well, there's only two types of luck, good and bad. And I was once told, if you wait long enough, it'll always change. So I think we've waited long enough. Now we have to start uh, having a little luck on our side with pucks going in. And uh, the best time to start with our change of luck will be tomorrow night. But uh, you're right, we, uh, we need to have a very motivated group of players that are going to play. They're gonna play north and they're gonna play where they're gonna funnel, funnel pucks to the net. And that's gonna be our style of play that we set out on August 2nd. We were super clear as coaches that this is the way we're going to play. And now we have, we cannot deviate. We cannot deviate from our, from our plan. And uh, we need to have everybody, uh, we need to have everybody on board, which I'm, I'm convinced. They're, they're, good, they're good boys, good men. They care, they're intelligent, they're capable. And it's up to us as coaches now to, uh, to prove our value. Before you talked about the offense, was this a bigger issue tonight and not the defense? Good question. I think we're now pushing so hard on offense because when we get one chance or two chance or three chance and they don't go in, then our team starts to cheat a little bit to try to compensate. And sometimes that when you when you when you change your balance between offense and defense, then we gave up chances. And no, they there's a reason why this team is undefeated, and they played like it tonight. The game was laying there for us. If we wanted it, we could have taken it, and we didn't take it. It's uh, unfortunate with Riva falling down, but he's a great player, and he gives his heart every shift. And that's hockey. That's hockey. And good teams will find a way to get that goal back. So there's no blame on Reeves or any other player on our team. Good teams will protect each other and find a way to get that game back. So to me, uh, again, I, I really believe in this team and the direction we have to go. But now we're at the we're at the we're at the position in the road now with the, the fork where everybody either jumps on board and goes in the right direction or or they don't. So if we're going to be a good team, a top team, then we have to start walking our talk. Uh, on the ground, we're with Peter Schlegel, who played great.